Previously on Solar Balls. After disobeying the sun one too many times, the planets have been forced to share a single orbit. Uranus's diary, entry number 4.5 billion, 3,000 and... God, oh, something. I lost count. It's been some time since this new arrangement started, and nobody is happy with it. We're trying our best not to be affected by each other's gravitational pull, especially Jupiter's, but it's not easy, mate. In any case, nothing apocalyptic has happened yet. Hope I'm not jinxing it by... <laughs> Are you okay? You look... different, Neptune. I'm alright, Proteus. I'm... trying something new. <laughs> Are you, Neptune? Because it looks to me like you're getting sick. Sick? <laughs> I don't think so, Triton. I'm closer to the sun. How can someone get sick in a hotter environment? I thought we promised never to lie to each other, Neptune. I think my methane ice clouds are evaporating this close to the sun. Is this why you're so pale? Possibly. My upper layers now feel like this superheated ocean of all sorts of chemicals and gases. What does that mean? This means I may stop being an ice giant altogether. We need to speak to the sun. Oh, come on, Triton. Uh, worst case scenario, I... <coughs> oh, I become a gas giant. It's not so bad. You should know more than anyone how I feel about someone stealing your identity. What's happening? Grown-up stuff? Let's go play! You're also looking quite pale, Uranus. Me? Oh, come on, I've always been pale, Miranda. Neptune is the one that- Neptune has almost your exact color, Uranus. Nah, didn't he used to be, like, more normal blue? Those were actually color enhancements from the first pictures ever taken of him by the Voyager 2. In reality, you two are very alike. How does that make any sense? He's always been normal blue to me. Uh, Mandela effect? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I am so confused right now. L listen. <coughs> I am utterly, perfectly fine. <laughs> my rings. My beautiful rings. What's happening? I think my rings are melting. Really? Huh. Let me. Oh, yeah. Mine are melting as well. Almost forgot I had one. But why? Nothing like this has happened in these past hundreds of millions of years! Aren't they made of ice? Well, ice, rocks, and dust, but yeah, a ton of ice. I mean, yeah, but space is cold, I own! Well, how cold or hot something is depends on how fast particles are moving, so we really can't think that way in empty space. Then how, Titan? We measure it by how much sunlight something receives and whether said thing can trap heat or not. So. Am I really? Losing your rings? Yep. Sorry, Saturn. At one astronomical unit from the sun, every single one of your tiny ice grains are absorbing sunlight, heating up, and starting to evaporate. <gasps> Moons? I know I'm trying to be more secure about myself and all, but am I about to become the default ring planet of the solar system? Your rings are also melting, Uranus. If anything, they're melting faster. Yeah, they're made of darker, carbon-rich materials. Less icy. Right. So, isn't that better? Nope. They trap more heat, get warmer faster. At least the ice would have let the solar radiation away. Might just tell me how long I have! Not long enough. Guys, please, watch it! You're getting far too close. Ha! <laughs> And you blame us? Sorry, big guy, but you are the one pulling us towards you. We're trying our best to stay away, but there's only so much we can do. At this rate, the moment we lower our guard, we'll crash into you. <sighs> this is going way too far. Don't! Please! Move out of the way, Mercury. Things can always get worse. You should know that by now. I will not be responsible for your destructions! <sighs> I have enough on my conscience. Then trust me. This should end soon enough. The sun will ask us if we learned our lesson, we'll say yes, and things will go back to normal. <sighs> Fine.
fine. Two, one, and... Yo! It's the Earth! And Luna! Uh, thanks for watching our show. I hope you're learning a thing or two about space. Or if not, that you're at least having fun. Earth. The whole point of solar balls is that we do both. Well, no one told me that. It's in the script. Anyways, if you like us, and by us, I mean our show, then we invite you to support our talented team of writers, animators, and everyone else who makes this possible. If you'd like to help, we have the Patreon, where you can get early episodes, learn tons of secrets about the future of the show, and have your name in the credits. But if merch is your thing, then oh boy, do we have some cool stuff in our store. You can get plushies of me and Luna. Ahem. Uh, and many other characters, as well as our very own trading card game, Solar Cards. Oh yeah, we did a whole Kickstarter and all, and it's such a fun game to play with your friends and family while you learn about space. Or just to collect them all. Look, Earth, it's me, but made of bricks. Samesies! <laughs> Anyways, thank you for your support, and enjoy the rest of the show. What if it doesn't? Whoa! Don't do that, uh, Triton! Just answer me. You shouldn't be here. If the sun wakes up... The faster you answer me, the faster I'll go. Uh, fine. What do you want to know? What if this doesn't end soon? What if the sun keeps this going forever now that everyone's at arm's length under his control? Were you eavesdropping? It's hard not to. We're all right next to each other, remember? R-right. Uh, listen. The situation is delicate enough as it is. The Sun doesn't trust us, doesn't feel like we respect him, and has now resorted to these crazy schemes that... ...are risking the structure and integrity of the solar system. I know. Right, so... So we have to wait until he calms down and... What? And what, Mercury? How much longer will we be playing by his rules just because he's big and scary? It's not just that. You can defend him all you want. I'm not! But I'm gonna do something about it. You have to be careful, Triton. I will be. Wait, what does that mean? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna earn my freedom with the truth. Thanks for watching! Oh, and the next episode is already on Patreon, so watch it a week early by joining. Also, consider checking out our Solar Ball store to get exclusive plushies and solar cards. Bye!